Hey everybody, welcome to a, another episode of Living Wellness Mills Chiropractic Style. Um, we're going to give you some more exercises to do today to help you um, to improve your spinal health and posture. Uh, a very common problem in today's culture is what we call anterior head posture, which, which is this. A lot of people are stuck in this position and, and their shoulders are rolled forward. And this is called a flex posture. This is flexion and this is extension. So the problem is, is that we end up in this posture and you know, your head, you think of your head as a bowling ball, right? If you hold it way out here, it's real heavy, but if you hold it in here, it's a lot easier to hold. And that, that's what's happening with people's head when they don't have it over their center of gravity. And it causes a lot of stress in your body and in your spine and your nerve system, which we want to correct. So as you're coming in and getting adjusted and we're correcting your spinal alignment and posture, um, we want you to do some of these exercises as well at home to make sure that you're getting the correction that you need. So come over here for it. I'm going to show you one of the a simple exercise we do with people very commonly. You just all you got to do is you need some really fancy equipment here. You need a wall, <laughs> and you can just stand against the wall. We're going to put my heels against the wall. I'm going to put my butt against the wall. I'm going to then put my elbows against the wall, the backs of my hands against the wall, and my head against the wall. And in the beginning, for some people, we just have them start by standing in this position for like 30 seconds. Um, and then you can take a break and, and do it again. So you want to count to at least 30 seconds and do this. And you know, you can do it to a minute if you want it, that's no problem. But as you get better at this, as you can start to stand and hold and get into this posture, then what you want to do is isometrically contract or push against the wall. So push the backs of your hands, the backs of your arms, the back of your head, and that's going to contract your extensor muscles and help to hold your head um, over your shoulders or put you in, in proper position. Some other exercises that we recommend for people um, this exercise here, do we have a technical name for this exercise, Dr. Bursler? Nope. Uh, we'll have to come up with a creative name for this, but you can do this laying on your bed. I'm going to do it on a bench here uh, at the gym, and uh, maybe Dr. Bursler, you can narrate a little bit with them and, and talk to them about this exercise. Okay. All we're really doing here is the weight of gravity is going to naturally pull the head down towards the ground, so we want to keep the face relatively parallel to the floor. Um, mouth parallel to the floor and then you want to just um, take the back of the head straight up towards the ceiling so it's not that you want to arch your neck back so you're looking forward you don't you want to keep your eyes looking straight down we're not doing this right we're doing this yeah that's what we call posterior translation so we're moving the head kind of straight backwards so these are the muscles that are weak when the head is forward of the body which is very, very, very common, as Dr. Mills said. So we want to strengthen and activate um, those other muscles there to help create some balance. The reason those muscles become so weak in most people is you think, you know, we're at a computer all day, uh, we're on our phones texting, uh, we're driving, uh, we're constantly in that posture, and that, that, that's what creates that. So we have to combat that with these exercises. So, you know, you can do a series of 10, 15, 20 of these exercises, do that, you know, two or three times. Um, as you build up to it. And they seem simple, but you could get some soreness um, from doing these exercises initially. And then another one um, is pretty simple. We're going to retract our shoulders. So for this one, we can maybe I can turn it and give you some different angles. But you know, we start out with kind of like a YMCA type position and you put your arms straight up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together. So I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together. I'm going to keep my arms straight. I'm going to keep my head over my shoulders. I'm going to hold that for 30 seconds. And then we bring them down to the side, and you're going to squeeze it. And for the video's sake, I'm not holding all these for 30 seconds, but that's what you want to do. And then you can bring, well, let's start with the Y. I'm sorry. Start with the Y. Then we can come down to a W, squeeze it in a W. Then we come to a T, you can squeeze it in a T. And you can bring your arms to the side, and you can squeeze it here. And each one of these will allow you to retract your shoulders and to... Um, activate your extensor muscles a little bit more so okay, hold, I was trying to hold that out and show us the squeeze up close here what he means by so you're taking the shoulders backwards from there to backwards so you're extending those the middle part of the spine yeah. so you know we can call these Y W T L right so you will totally love Mills Chiropractic Center. I think that's an easy way to remember that. So you can do that. So hopefully these exercises are, are very helpful for, for you. Um, they're great, just simple spinal hygiene exercises to do on a regular basis. 
to keep your, um, your spine and your posture healthy, to keep your nerve system healthy, most importantly, because that's the lifeline to the body. So if you have questions on your next adjustment when you come into the office, just ask us, and we can make sure we answer these questions with you or go over them with you personally. But we think this will be a real asset to you becoming a healthier you. So have a great day. Stay fit. Eat lots of fruits and veggies, and always get adjusted. Have a great day.